Hello, today we're going to simplify rational exponents. So the first thing we need to talk about whenever doing these kind of problems is finding your roots of numbers. So you are all very familiar with the square root, which means we find a number or a quantity that multiplies by itself twice to get the starting number. So for example, if I have the square root of 16, you say, well, what number times itself is going to give me 16? You'd say 4. The same applies here if we're talking about different roots. Now a square root has an assumed 2 right here. That's, that's definitely a 2. Um, in other t types of roots, you're going to have different numbers. So cube root. So if I have a cube root, you're finding a number that multiplies by itself 3. Thrice? 3 times? 3 times. To get... Uh, to give you the starting number. So if I have the cube root of, say, 64, well, what times what times what gives me 64? That answer would be 4. The last kind of root that we'll really talk about is a fourth root, where you're finding a number that multiplies by itself 4 times to give you the starting number. So for example, the fourth root of 81, well, how do I get what number times itself gives you 81, well, 3 times 3 times 3 times 3 gives me 81, so the fourth root of 81 is 3. So let's talk about that uh, with some examples. So if I have 3 cubed, that's 3 times, uh, sorry, 2 cubed, that's 2 times 2 times 2, which is 8. If I'm talking about the cube root of 27, what number times itself gives us 27? That's going to be 3. And those are really the only ones I want to talk about. Well, let's talk about number four. Find the side length of a cube whose volume is 343. How do I find the volume of a cube? Well, the volume of a cube is s cubed. So if I take 343 uh, equals s cubed, to find what the side length is, I have to raise everything to the one-third power. This is similar if you have a quantity squared. If you're trying to figure out what x is, you take the square root of it. If I have a quantity cubed, I'm going to take the cube root of it. And the cube root of something is the same thing as taking something to the one-third power. So to do this in your calculator, you can do parentheses 343 raised to the parentheses 1 divided by 3 or the one-third power. And that will give us 7. So the side length of that cube would be 7. All right, let's try another one. So let's find roots of variables. So if I'm finding a square root, that means divide your exponent by 2. If I'm talking about a cube root, that means divide my exponent by 3. So the cube root of 9 is, uh, or the cube root of x to the ninth is x cubed. Really, we can also treat this as x to the ninth raised to the one-third power, which means that's going to be x cubed. Because I multiply my exponents, 9 times one-third is 3. If I have the cube root of x to the eighth, well, if I'm talking about it from an exponential standpoint, I can't really simplify that down any further. So I'm going to just treat that as x to the eight over 3. And last but not least, fourth root divide exponents by 4. So if I have the fourth root of x to the 16th, that gives me x to the 4th, because it's saying the quantity x to the 16th raised to the 1 4th power. Multiplying those powers, because it's a power to a power, gives me x to the 4th. x to the 4th. OK, well, my marker stopped working. There we go, x to the 4th. If I have the fourth root of x to the 9th, that's just going to be x to the 9 fourths. When the exponents are fractions, they are called rational exponents. So that's why we're going to keep them in that way. Let's try ones just a little bit more complicated. All right. So don't freak out. We're going to be OK. We're going to break this down into bit by bit, which means that we're going to take the cube root I'm essentially going to break this down to the cube root of 125 times the cube root of x to the fourth times the cube root of y to the seventh 
times the cube root of z to the 12th. And I really do not expect you to write it out like that every time. That would be ridiculous. But by doing this, we can break it down and figure out it by part by part. And we start with the cube root of 125, which putting that in our calculator or just being really good at mental math, we know that that's 5. The cube root of x to the 4th, well, I can't really divide x to the 4th by anything. Or I can't divide 4 by 3, so I'm just going to make it x to the 4 thirds. And I'm going to leave it like that if I want my answer in rational form. Then I can't divide 7 by 3, so that's y to the 7 thirds. And then lastly, z to the 12th, the cube root of that, that's going to give us z to the 4th. Because really all we're doing here is we're just dividing all of our exponents. Okay, And this is the answer in a um, radical, this is with rational exponents. This is not our answer in radical form. If we want our answer in radical form, what I'd have to do is essentially take out my exponents. So I can take out a whole x here. So I'd make this a whole x, or essentially break it down like so. Let me show you. After I erase that. OK. You would take it, make this a 5. I can have a whole x to the first times an x to the 1 third. I can take two y's out, two y's out, and have a y to the 1 third. And then I can have a z to the fourth which simplifies down to 5xy squared, z to the fourth, and then the cube root of x to the first, y to the first. So that would be our answer in radical form. Right now I want you guys to really focus on it with rational exponents and not really worry about it in radical form just yet. So don't worry about it. Okay, next problem. We're going to be talking about fourth roots. So I'm, again, I'm going to break this down and simplify it however I can. Because we have to remember that this is really the quantity, or 16x to the 8th, y to the 6th, z to the 5th. That entire quantity raised to the 1 fourth power. That's what the fourth root is. So if you think about it in terms of just distributing that power like we would into a power to power problem, it might help you out. So the fourth root of 16. We know, okay, well, what times what times what times what gives us 16? That answer would be 2. x to the 8th, the 1 fourth power of that, would give us x squared. And again, here you're multiplying by fractions, which is the same thing as dividing. If I have y to the 6th to the 1 fourth power, that gives me y to the 6 fourths. But we know we can simplify that down to uh that not a three. We can simplify y to the six fourths to y to the three halves. So that's what I'm gonna simplify that one down to. And then lastly, z to the five fourths. Okay, so here are two problems for you guys. Make sure you definitely have these in your notes. Okay, so with these three problems, what I want you to do is pause the video here, attempt them, and then when you're done, uh unpause the video and see if you got the right answers. If you didn't, stay and figure it out. If not, then you're done watching this video and move on to the worksheet. So pause the video right now. Okay, we should have gotten uh, 2s to the 7 fourths, t to the 1 half, 3x squared, y to the 4 thirds, and lastly, uh, 4 x, y to the 1 third, z to the 5 thirds. If you didn't get those, then stick around. If not, uh, you're done with the video, and thank you for watching. So let's go over the first one. Number 1. So I figure out what times what times what gives me 16, which we know is 2. Then I take s and 7 divided by 4. I can't simplify that down, so that's just s to the 7 fourths. And then that's really t to the 2 over 4, but I can simplify that down to t to the 1 half. Number 2, the cube root of 27 we know is 3. And that's a cube root you're really going to want to memorize. So if you don't have that, that's something, something I think you should know, at least for the test and just for the EOC in general. 
um, x to the 6 over 3 becomes x squared. And then y to the 4 over 3, we can't simplify that down, so that just becomes y to the 4 thirds. And lastly, number 3, uh, the cube root of 64 is 4. x to the 3 over 3 becomes x to the first, but we're not going to write that one. Uh, y to the first, the cube root of that becomes y to the one third. And then lastly, z to the five thirds. Okay, if you have any questions, uh, let your teacher know and they'll help you out. Uh, if not, move on to the worksheet and use your notes to help you figure out those problems as well. Thank you for watching and make sure you take all them good notes. Bye-bye.